Hey there, welcome to Tone Motion. The holidays are almost here. And to celebrate this time of year, I organized a secret Santa between other doll YouTubers. That means I'll be getting a partner and make a doll for that person, but I don't know who's making a doll for me. Fun, right? My partner this year is Anastasia Custom. I've been following her channel for a while and I really love her style. Wow, I'm so excited to make this doll! I made a list with random questions so everyone can get some inspiration what to make for their partner. But Sabrina kept her form empty. She wanted to be totally surprised. Well, I still got this apple white doll for my King's Day video. And I would like to do some experiments on her hair. So we got a doll. Of course, I want Sabrina and Anastasia Customs to have my signature animal doll mutt. I also want to be surprised, so I've let you decide on Instagram. So Instagram decided which animal I would make. Many people want me to make a slut or a red panda. In the end, the red panda was the favorite. Hmm, interesting. It's kind of a combination of a cat and a fox. Well, let's make a Christmas red panda. If you saw the book Penny was holding with a red panda on it, then you found the hint. Like always, good luck find the hint in this video. We will be keeping her hair this time, but I will take off her human ears and factory painted face with acetone. She'll be an older character, so that means in my universe, more animal features. I'm also going to give her the flat feet treatment, like I do on all my dolls lately. To alter the feet, I use a Dremel with a flexible shaft, what makes it easier to work on smaller objects. For her tail, I make a hole in her lower back with a lino cutter. For the face modifications, I'm going to use the same technique I used on Canis. I cut off the nose and glue it lower just above the upper lip. This makes her nose longer and gives it more of a snout. Out of wire I make two armatures for her ears. Ok, epoxy time! Wow, this is the biggest container you can buy and I'm almost out of clay. To protect her hair, I cover it up with a freezer bag. Now it can go in safely with epoxy clay and form two pointy ears. Looking kinda strange in the beginning, I also give her cute animal features in her face. Her legs are also getting their epoxy treatment. After 24 hours, the clay is hard and dry. Then it's all about sanding. I can also take off the ears now. Because I still have a lot of work to do on her face, I cover all the epoxy clay with a layer of super glue. This will prevent the clay from breaking off the face. Of course, I make too many epoxy clay like usual. And instead of throwing it away, let's make Christmas cookies. After drying, I painted them cookie brown and with 3D paint, I fill in the icing. Finishing them with glitter that looks like sugar. I painted a Barbie plate silver and placed the cookies on it. A nice dull treat! I also made a bigger one with my name on it, so I can place it on a doll later. Let's already work on her outfit. She's going to be a red panda. And they're mainly red and black. So I thought a lighter color will look great on her. I used my penny dress pattern. And sew her a long sleeved holiday dress. 
but it'll be needing some sparkle. One by one, I glue on these little gems with fabric glue. For some sparkling effect. A Christmas red bow and an apron to finish the dress. Out of stretchy fabric, I made our black tights. I will be giving it more detail later. I got these BB Girl glitter shoes. These will fit Monster High and Ever After High girls with flat feet perfect. They only need a red bow to match the rest. Great, let's return to her body. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I want to do a little experiment on her hair. I want to see if I can color her hair with red pen pastels. For this, I'm wearing gloves and shield off my table. Because this is going to be a mess. Pen pastels have a very high pigment. I figured out that working with an old toothbrush will work best. And now we have to wash everything out with a lot of soap and water. After a day of drying, she kinda looks like Carrie. But hey, it worked! I'm not sure if it will work on darker hair, but this is a great start. Now that I have shielded off her hair, let's do the rest of her body. Again, I'm working with the toothbrush. It rubs on the pestles much better and gives less dust. Like I mentioned, red pandas are mainly black. So I continue with black pestles. With acrylic paint, I give her a white nozzle and white fingernails. After this, I spray the whole body a few times with Mr. Super Clear. Finally, face up time. I start sketching in her face with a light colored pencil. Red pandas kinda have this dramatic shade on her eyes and around her mouth. Now that I'm filling in her blue eyes with acrylic paint, let's answer the question of the day. And because it's almost Christmas, let's answer a few. So here's a lightning round. How long have you been living in the Netherlands? My whole life. What main language do you speak in the Netherlands? We speak Dutch or Nederlands. But almost everyone can also speak English here. What inspired you to pursue an animation degree? After seeing the making of A Nightmare Before Christmas when I was 15. What's your favorite original character you made? Alex Fox. What animal is your logo? It's a hamster cat. How many siblings do you have? I have an older half-sister. Who does the male voice of your stop motions? They are all voiced by my boyfriend Bart, who also makes all the music. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Yes, having an 80s movie marathon together with my boyfriend. Well, that was a lot of questions. Do you have a question for me I haven't answered yet? Leave it in the comment section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Red pandas have this signature worried look, but I kinda ruined it at the first try. Yeah, this is just sad. Yeah, much better. With one eyebrow a little bit higher, it really gives her this cheeky look. To see it in the face up, I spray the face a few times with Mr. Super Clear. Okay, let's give this panda some fur. 
properties of using yarn, of red and brown to give her the rings on her tail. But first I need to comb out the yarn and glue the wefts on a freezer bag. This makes it much easier for me to attach them to the tail. But for her ears, loose wefts are just fine. I begin with the darker red on the back of her ear and continue with white fur on the front. Her tail was made out of wire I covered with bandage tape for a better grip. Let's make her tail all fluffy! With a hot glue gun I glue on yarn wefts, one by one. Until I reach the top. Some brushing and trimming and we got a red panda tail. Before I attach her tail, let's see if her black stocking fits. Perfect, just enough space for the tail. Now I go in with the two part epoxy glue and secure the tail in the back. Sometimes this stuff really gets hot. It almost melts through the plastic, look. While we are still gluing stuff, let's continue with Mod Podge and Glitter. Because I want her legging to have some holiday shine. Continuing with her face, red pandas have this cute fur on their face. I did this before on my spring cat Daisy custom, so I think I can pull it off. Carefully, I glue on loose wefts with fabric glue. Apparently, I'm making a Santa Claus doll and not a red panda. The glue is still drying, so let's glue on some fake lashes. and cute white whiskers. When the glue is dry on her face, I glued in her ears the same way as her tail. To blend her face with the fur better, I used some pastel powders. Putting on her outfit. Her Christmas hairpin and some shine in her eyes, lips and on her nose and she's done! What do you think of the tree? It looks great! Oh my, so cute! Hey, what's that? Huh? What? Oh, I sent out my resume a few weeks ago and I got a response. What? Are you telling me you don't like your job at the radio station? It's okay, but this job will give me total creative freedom. They even say I can make my own music. Well, what are you waiting for? Take the job. It's in Sweden. Sweden? Yeah, so I'm not going to take it. Well, at least you don't have to miss us and Penny. Uh. Hey, is that Aunt Kenneth? I haven't seen her for ages. I'm going to say hi. Aunt Kenneth is here with Uncle James? No, of course not. He has work stuff like usual. Hey, Aunt Kenneth. Oh, I haven't seen you for so long. Do you think Uncle James is a good person? Yeah, he's a famous writer. He's rich and he let me rent his apartment. Oh yeah, being famous and rich makes you a good person. Yeah, yeah, okay. But he married Aunt Canis, and she's the nicest person in the world. Yeah, she is. Hey, wait, is this about that folder you stole from their house? But Alex, I'm telling you, there's strange information about Fol- I don't want to hear it, Felicia. Just give it back. Fulpini would say the same. You look really cute with those antlers. <laughs> I really don't get what's so special about that Pyrrhus Felis. Pyrrhus Felis? As in Mortis Felis? Hmm.
a high for Penny. Hey Daisy, hi Henry. Did I hear you have a girlfriend? Oh, what's her name? Oh, her name is Kayo. Oh, what an unusual name. But why didn't you bring her to the party? She's kind of shy around people. But maybe next year. Oh, I totally understand. Sabrina and Felix are also home, together with our father. Um, hi. Hey. We haven't met yet. I'm Felicia Fox. Beerus Felis. So you are Alex's little sister. <laughs> I'm not that little. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tall then. Yeah, you are kind of tall. <laughs> um, can I ask you a weird question? <laughs> the weirder the better, I think. Um, your name is Phyllis. Does it mean you are related to Mortis Phyllis? Mortis Phyllis the Soul Taker. Well, that's more of a Halloween story that my family likes to tell. But yeah, the legend says we're related to Mortis Phyllis. Have you ever heard of Edifus? No, but it sounds really interesting. Ah! Pyrrhus, can you please help me? I'm almost dropping the cookies. Oh, sorry, I have to help my girlfriend. But I definitely want to hear more about this diva stuff. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, what a nice young man. Someone you could fancy. Um, he's helping his girlfriend now? Oh, you left so fast the last time I saw you. <sighs> yeah. Is there something bothering you, dear? Because you can tell me anything. Thank you, Aunt Kenneth. Aunt Kenneth, I'm so sorry to ask you this, but why is Uncle James never around? <sighs> I'm not sure. He says he's doing research for his new book, but I really don't know for sure. I'm very happy I could celebrate this Christmas with you. And the fact your brother is a spitting image of James when he was younger kinda helps. <laughs> Are you just going to sit here and sob all day? Hey, as long as you bring me food, I got everything I need right here. Oh no, I dropped them. <laughs> it's okay, Penny. Uh, hey, what are you doing? I'm going to Sweden. Thank you! Thanks? Uh, uh, thank you. You really have weird traditions. Yeah, it's best to just go with it. <laughs> Do you have any holiday traditions? I would really like to know in the comment section. I hope Anastasia Custom will like her red panda doll. Hmm, who's making a doll for me? Can it be Doll's brand new look, the Doll Fairy, Anastasia Custom or Doll Mail? Well, they also made a Christmas video. So definitely go check their videos. I will make a playlist. The next unboxing video will have the last stop motion scene for this year. 
so don't forget to watch it. I would like to thank my lovely Patreons for all the support for this channel. Thank you so much for celebrating this Christmas special with me. I wish you all happy holidays and like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video, bye!